Hey friends, Lucian here with the Bullish Bears team. This video is going to be about how to set up indicators and filter studies within the eSignal platform. So you'll see right over here, I have a multi-chart set up over here. Uh, you'll see a bunch of different indicators over here, and then you'll see some clean charts. So I'm going to show how you can go and add and delete indicators, and then also turn them into uh, kind of a study set that you can kind of just automatically input onto other charts. Uh, so you'll see right up here, uh, you know, with these indicators here, when I click on each one, if I click right up here and I right click and click edit, you'll see what the study is. So this blue line right here, I have as the nine exponential moving average line. So you can go and change the, you know, the line, if you want it dotted or a regular line, you can change thickness. Uh, you can change right up over here, how you want it to look. Um, again, change the colors of the line. So I just want to show you that first when you just, you know, look over here, just right click, edit, you'll see the different ones I have up here. So I have a combination of simple moving average lines, exponential moving average lines. I also have VWAP over here. Uh, and then I have this yellow line, which is previous close. So again, whatever indicators that you want, you can put them on each chart. You can have them on some charts not have them on others, uh, but I'll show you how to kind of set this process up. So first thing over here, you'll see just right over here I have when I, I, you can either click up here and right click and hit edit, or you can click on the actual double click on the line itself, or you could also right click on the line and hit edit. There's several different ways uh, that you can go in there and uh, check out what that indicator is. So right now, if I want to get rid of this indicator, I can right click and then go down to remove moving average line over here. So I can just remove it and now it's gone. So let's say I want to go and add a new indicator. I just right click and go up to insert study. And then you'll see a bunch of different uh, study sets where you can kind of open up like built-in studies and go through, or you can just type in up here. Uh, so you'll see, you know, things like moving average line. So if you wanted to add a moving average line, you can click on, you know, built-in studies or formulas or double click on it here. So if you double click, it'll open them up and you'll see under built-in studies is where you'll find moving average. So if I just click on that and click apply, and hit close, you'll see a line right up over here. So this is where you'd go and just right click up here or click on the line or double click on the line and click edit. And this is where you can change, you know, how you want it to be. You can do simple, exponential, however you want it. So for just the sake of this, let's just do, let's do exponential and we'll do 13. So we'll do a 13 exponential You'll see the different colors. You can save colors. So if you like a specific color, you can add to swatch. Uh, we have blue and orange candlesticks on our chart because that's our company color. So we're just different. That's again, most people use green or red or white or black. We just have ours as blue and orange just because it's our company colors. So you'll see right here, let's just leave this line as blue and I'll click close. And now let's just say if I want to right click We'll add another study. Let's go to moving average line again, and I'll hit apply. And this time you'll see right here, there's another looks the same. That's where I just go up here to edit. And at this point, this is where I'll just change this to let's say simple and we'll do 200. So 200 simple moving average, change the color to however you want. I'll change it to white. Hit close and now you can see I have a 200 simple moving average. I have exponential right down over here. If I want to right click and add uh, VWAP, I could just go up to here and type in VWAP and VWAP uh, opens. Sometimes you have to open up built in studies. So if you don't see it pop up, you might have to just double click and open it. You can see I have it open here and that's where VWAP is. So if it's hidden, it might be hidden under like a built in study. So click on it, click apply. Hit close. So this is where I can go up here to view app and I'll right click edit. And this is where I can change it. Let's say I want it to be, you know, dotted or dashed and change a color. Let's make it yellow for now. Hit close. And there you go. There's view app. So depending on how your charts are set up, you know, you might want more indicators on one, less on another. Uh, if you're like, hey, I don't like this right now. I want to remove them. You can just edit 
go down to uh, remove all studies here. So you can go to remove all studies and get rid of them all, or you can go one by one over here. So let's just remove all studies and now they're gone, right? So what you can do is also take what you see on a chart and put them into a study or a collection of studies on their own so you can upload them somewhere else onto another chart. So if I go up over here and I, let's say, right click over here on VWAP, this is where I can go to add to, to collection and I don't have a collection set up here right now. So what I would do is just click, if I did, you'd see man manage study collections right here. I'll just click on uh, study collection or add new collection and I'll name this uh, main studies. All right. So now I'll go and I'll add these into my main studies collection right here. So if I right click on moving average line, I go to add to collection, main studies, next one down, add to collection, main studies, right click, add to collection, main studies, and oops, did I not do that one? Let's do that one again. Add to collection, main studies, a couple more. And last one, previous close, main studies. So now what I can do over here, let's say on my main chart or my daily chart right here, you'll see when I click on it, it's a daily. If I wanna add these indicators from up here down over here, I could right click and then I could go up to study collections and click on main studies and then voila, it adds the indicators right onto my chart. So that's a way that you don't have to do it individually on each one. You can just uh, add it, you know, as part of a collection onto a chart, uh, and that way you don't have to go. And you can add ones or delete, you know, if you want to have other ones or remove the indicators, you can do that as well. So now let me go to a one-minute chart, and let's right-click, and we'll add uh, the main studies here. But let's say I want to remove some of these off of here. So this is what I can do is I can right click and I can go up to remove studies and then I can go one by one and remove different studies down over here. Or I could just go on to the chart if I know which ones I wanna remove, I could just right click over here and remove it right over here. So let's just say, you know, this one is the nine EMA on a one minute, I'll keep that. This one is the 20, I'll keep that. This one is the 200, I'll keep that. And then this one is the 50. Maybe I'll remove that one off my chart right here and remove that. So now the 50 uh, SMA is removed. And then maybe I'll just say, okay, I'll just remove previous close. I have it on my five minute chart so I can go and I can remove previous close. Uh, I can keep VWAP on there or I can remove it. So you'll see, you know, depending, again, everybody's chart parameters or, you know, preferences are different. You might want to have indicators on other charts that you might not want on, you know, shorter term time frames. So right here, I can go over here, go to study collections and uh, manage study collections right here and go down to main studies. So right here, I can go up and let's say I'll keep the... 9 EMA, the 20, and now I'll delete the simple moving average lines, right? Here's a 10 second chart. So let's say I just want to keep the, uh, you know, the 9 and the 20 on my chart. And uh, I'll also actually just leave uh, VWAP as well, or remove VWAP. So I'll just go up here to right click on VWAP and remove VWAP. So now I just have the nine and the 20 EMA over here on my 10 second chart. So this is how you can kind of have the different indicators set up on your chart. And then make sure you always go up here to eSignal and save page as so you can save this. Uh, so that way it saves the template. So another thing you can do again, if you want to go and just create a new right click and um, you can go to add to collections, you can do new collection. Maybe I'll title this one 10 second, all right? So I can just do 10 second and I'll right click, I'll add to collection 10 second, and then I'll add to collection 
10 second. And now if I want to go and I right click on any chart, I can go to study collections and I can manage my study collections. This is, I can go in, I can delete them. So if I don't want to have them in there anymore, I can go in and delete them going up right over in here. So there's the delete, there's the rename, and there's apply study collection in there. So that's where, again, you know, you can save these and just add them to different charts just to make that process easy for you. So again, eSignal, just a great platform. They have fantastic indicators. They're very easily customizable. They have great coloring. We are huge fans of the eSignal platform. So hopefully this video helped you and we will see you in our community. Enjoy.